Good morning, afternoon, or evening, dear yogis, here at Our Echo Yoga. So welcome again to my little casita here in Japan. And today's practice is a morning practice for me. And really just like a practice for, for grounding and fluidity and just waking up, you know, really waking up to what I need, waking up to, to what's alive in the body. And the practice this morning is inspired by uh, a book that I have been reading, which I'm sure so many of you have read, uh, Shantaram. And if you haven't read it, wow, such an incredibly powerful book. And there is this part in the book where they go to war. And as they are in war, I really see um, a, a beautiful metaphor here, but something that the main character says, the protagonist says, is that, you know, these men aren't men that you'd want to live with, but these are men that you'd want to die with. And this really hit me because, you know, he was in this very challenging war in Pakistan and it was very trying, but there were a few men there that, you know, when you were struggling of climbing up the mountain, they would backtrack, you know, um, a few feet to help drag him up, even though they were without food and without water and they were struggling themselves. They were there constantly like pulling each other through the war. And for me, this metaphor come, came up of, of love, how we intimately love. And for so many of us, we enter intimate relationships uh, sexual relationships like sensual, you know, our lovers, our beloveds, our husbands, our wives, our boyfriends, our girlfriends, or however we want to identify. We enter these because a person brings out a feeling of, you know, excitement and contentment when we meet them first and peace maybe. <clears throat> and we like, we like living with them. But I think, you know, the question that we should ask ourselves is, do we want to die with this person? Do we want a part of ourselves? Do we want to let a part of ourselves die with this person? Because when we step into that loving relationship, a part of us will die. That is what love does. You know, as it breaks the heart open, as it splinters and shatters, something else is born there. We're given an initiation to dive even deeper. And so this is where we experience mostly like the most deep pain in our lives, whether it's around our families, our blood family, but the next is our, our lovers, our beloveds. And the pain can be, you know, something he calls in this, in this book, assassin grief, that grief that just bubbles up. That's like so incredibly painful that there's no running from it. We can't numb out. We can't like, we can't run away. We are in it. We are in the grief. And so when we're stepping into relationships, being much more discerning with not just do I want to live with this person, but do I want to die with this person? Do I want to go to battle with this person? Will this person be in the field with me, with water, you know, with a canteen when I'm on the ground and I'm like purging and I'm in my grief and in my wounds and in my trauma? Is this person going to be there with me as I try to save myself? You know, not that I need this person to save me, but can they stand beside me as I try to save myself? Because when we go into these containers of love, it is a battle and love brings up all the brutality that we've put against ourselves or that the world has put against us. And so when you're stepping into relationship, make sure that you're choosing your, your soldiers, um, very well. So that being said, we're going to be kind to ourselves today in this practice. We're just going to flow and we're going to feel and just arrive into what do I need? What do I want? What does my heart really feel? You know, connecting the mind and the heart, this journey between the head and the heart is the most challenging. Like that's the most difficult journey that we make is like, can my head get on board with my heart? And am I making my decisions from a place of full understanding of what's at stake here? All right, so that being said, let's start standing. So as you stand, hands alongside the body, shut the eyes down. Ground down through the feet, slight bend in the knees. And just take small circles here with the knees, like little micro circles. Eyes can be closed. Shifting the weight from side to side, forward and back.
And just arriving in your breath, equal inhalations and exhalations through the nostrils. Let's take an inhale, lengthen the arms up. Exhale, hands to heart. Inhale, elbows out to the side, fingertips together, lift right underneath the chin. Exhale, press the energy down. Turn the hands out, inhale, reach up. And exhale to the heart. Inhale, lift the elbows, fingers together. And exhale, press down. Inhale, reach. And exhale to the heart. And bowing head to heart. Find an intention for your practice today it can simply be presence. Each inhalation and exhalation through the nostrils, we arrive deeper and deeper into our practice. And the more that we know ourselves, the more honest we can be with those around us, the more honest we can be as we go into battle. For we can only be truthful and as honest to others as we are with ourselves. So our practice is about revealing our innermost selves to ourself. Let's take an inhale, reach up. And exhale, bow down, slowly folding. Let's fold in, let the head drop in. And depending on your body today, you might have a really tight back line. You might need to stay on the fingertips so you can even use a pillow couch cushion to hold on to, to bring the earth closer to you. Or we just fold in, let the head relax, let the neck relax, most importantly. And so important that we take time to slow down. Sometimes life can feel a bit like a battle. Moving fast, 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 productive, getting things done. But in this practice, I really encourage you just to soften, soften the muscles. Soften the breath, soften the mind, soft focus just on what's happening right here, right now in this moment. What is your truest of truths in this moment, in this breath? Let's take an inhale, roll all the way up to staying. Let the arms hang. Shrug the shoulders at the top. Back. And inhale, reach up. And exhale, bow down. Inhale up halfway. Exhale, plant the hands, feet back, plank position. Bring the knees to the earth, chest down. Inhale forward onto the belly. And exhale, hips to heels, child's pose. Forehead to the earth, stretch the arms out forward, palms press in. And really press the hips back towards the heels so we get nice and long through the back body. Activated. The large part of going into battle with someone or with multiple people is humility. So humbling ourselves to the ground, knowing that we don't know exactly what's going to come up in relationship to the world, relationship to each other, but when it does... And again, we try to go inward, find our truest of truths, deliver that with empathy, transparency. Let's come up to tabletop. Take an inhale, drop the belly down, look forward and up. Exhale, round the spine, chin to chest. Inhale, belly drops, look forward and up. And exhale, round the spine, chin to chest. Inhale, belly drops. And exhale, round. 
Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Come back to tabletop position. Walk the hands forward. Forehead to the earth, palms press in, keep the arms activated, hips over the knees. Anahatasana, heart melting pose, again humility, letting our hearts pour down towards the earth. And it takes a lot of humility to enter relationship, to enter love. It's not a battle for the easy-minded, it's not simple. It takes courage, discernment, patience. Let's go ahead and peel the chest up, bring the hands back. Tuck the toes under, lift the knees lightly. Pull the belly in. So core strength here, we're engaging that inner fire, the Agni of the belly. Things begin to tremble, calm yourself with a breath. The exhale allows you to land deeper in the position. And slowly press the hips back and up downward facing dog. Let's press the heels in, press the palms in. Let the head drop here. Letting the back line get nice and long. Slowly walk the feet to meet the hands. Take your time. Slowly, slowly. As you come forward, feet hip width distance apart. Lift the toes. Bring the hands beneath the feet. Let the head drop in. So lots of forward folds here. Coming back into self. Folding into self. Surrendering. These postures are really beautiful. The forward folds in, in that reflection of folding in upon ourselves some more introspection gives us a chance to close the eyes go inward feel what's alive for us to know our truths because how can we speak the truth to the world if we don't know our truth to the earth. Inhale. Come up halfway. And exhale, fold. Inhale, rise to standing. Reach up, slight back bend. And exhale, hands to heart. Hands alongside the body. Inhale, reach up. And exhale, bow down. Inhale, come up halfway. Exhale, plant the hand. Step back to a plank position. Pause here, top of a push-up. Press in firmly through the palms. Pull the belly in, slight rounding of the upper back. We stay here. Let the tremble come in. Welcome this engagement of the fire. So just like a relationship, this is an initiation. You can think of core as that deep initiation bit difficult we want to run away but it makes us stronger love makes us stronger being open to love and relationship makes us stronger so stay here take an inhale and exhale lift the hips back and up downward facing dog inhale lift the right leg up behind you keep the right hip rolling underneath the body press down through the palms down through the left heel Take an inhale, exhale, step the right foot through, left heel spins down 45 degrees. Let's reach up, warrior one.
strengthen the legs, strengthen the arms, relax the shoulders, relax the face. So find a calmness in the dexterity and the strength. Focus the dristy forward somewhere on the wall or in front of you. Take an inhale. Exhale, come down halfway, parallel with the upper body. Bring the hands to the lower back, make a fist. Open the chest, bow the head down towards the ground to the inside of the right foot. Keep the legs exactly where they are. Inhale, reach the arms up. And exhale, bring hands to heart. Lean forward, lift the left leg up behind you. Right foot stays grounded, left leg back. Focal point down and forward. So we find some balance here. You can make it a little bit more challenging by reaching the arms forward if you'd like. Or you can keep them at heart center. Tremble, slight bend in the knee and then press up. Bring the hands to the earth. Keep the left leg lifting into a, a splits here, standing splits. Maybe your hands get to the right ankle. Can hold on here. Maybe not. Maybe keep the fingertips on the ground. Whatever feels best for you. And let's bring the hands down. Step back to a plank position. Pause here. Press down through the palms. Pull the belly in. Take an inhale, exhale, bend the elbows, come down halfway. Inhale forward, slides the tops of the feet, open the heart. Exhale, tuck the toes, draw the hips back and up, downward facing dog. Sigh out. Inhale, lift the left leg. Straight at first, press the right heel down, left heel towards the ceiling. Focus, discernment, deep breath, soften the face, but strengthen the body. Take an inhale. Exhale, step the left foot through, right heel spins down 45 degrees. Inhale, reach up, Virabhadrasana one. So strengthen the legs. Pull the left hip back, right hip forward. Soften the face, relax the shoulders. So can we be steady and calm even in the strength and the challenge? Can we face, yeah, can we face things that are challenging with a softness? So in our practice, in our relationships, can we show up courageous? and not wanting to run away. Let's take an inhale, come forward with the upper body. Bring the arms back behind you, clasp the hands, and then bow your head in towards the left foot. Keep the legs exactly as they are, nice and strong. Take an inhale, reach up. Exhale, hands to heart. Lean forward, lift the right leg. Can stay with the hands at heart or bring the arms forward. Nice and strong through that left standing leg. Let's inhale, reach up, stand up. And exhale, hands down alongside the body. And let's just give a little shake. <sighs> Can let out any sounds through the mouth. Let the shoulders kind of pop up in their joints. <sighs> Flick the hands. <sighs> oh. 
hands come back to standing, feet closer together, hands on the hips, and let's just take some hip circles. And pushing the pelvic floor forward. You can take the feet a little bit wider if you need. Move in the opposite direction. Come back to center. Take the feet a little bit wider, almost mat with distance. Bend the knees, bring them out. And bring the right hand forward like you're holding a tray, right hand back like you're swimming back. So we're just gonna open the shoulders a bit here. It doesn't have to be perfect, but almost just imagine you're swimming backwards. You can try different ways of rotating the shoulders. And let's go ahead and forward fold. So straighten the legs out, folding in. Let the head drop in, let the neck relax. Let's bend the knees and sink the hips. Coming into a yogi squat, use the elbows inside the knees to press the knees open, sitting up nice and tall through the spine. Maybe you need a couch cushion underneath the hips if this is a bit too much for you. Perfectly acceptable and invited. You can always pause me when you need. the right hand behind you, left hand behind you. Come down and stretch the legs out in front of you. You might need a couch cushion underneath the seat if you've got a really tight back line. Let's take an inhale, reach up. And exhale, slowly fold forward. Keep the spine long. When it begins to round, that's your stopping point. Hands come alongside the body. If you can keep the spine straight, you can slowly go deeper and deeper. Peel the chest up. Bend the knees, plant the feet, hands behind you, and let the knees drop to the right, open the chest. Knees drop to the left, open the chest. To the right. To the left. To the right. And to the left. Let's come back up through center, sitting up nice and tall. And drop the right ear to the right shoulder. Chin to chest, left ear to left shoulder. Let's just take some circles. Listen to what the body is trying to tell you. If you need any pauses in areas that feel a little tense, pause. When it feels good, move in the opposite direction. Let's take an inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, hands to the back of the head, open the chest. Mm 
hands to the knees. Let's take an inhale, pull the chest forward, open the heart. Exhale, round the spine, chin to chest. Inhale, forward. And exhale, back. Inhale. And exhale. And slowly come back up to center, keep the eyes shut. Because I have my flute nearby, I will offer us a little flute before we end our practice. So again, with the eyes shut down, settling into the body. And really reflecting on how you want to show up in battle, how you want to show up in your own courage, your own sense of calmness, stability. Making sure that when we reach outside of ourselves into the world through connection that we seek partners, lovers, friends, collaborators that have the capacity to go to battle with us, to see all our parts, to move through the challenges, who will stay, who will work with us, who will, yeah, be there in the moments where it's hard for us to be there for ourselves and remind us exactly of what we're capable of and who we are. sigh out. Hands to heart center, bowing head to heart. May we each learn to live with grace and die with grace. Let parts of ourselves die away so that new may come. May that death not be so fearfully arising. May we show up with courage. May we splinter and open more deeply. May we take the initiations that life gives us. May many versions of us die so that many can be born again. Namaste.